Hi, this is Tom at Avidine, and today we're going to talk about connecting your ForeFlight with your IFD. As you may know, you can transfer your flight plans that you build at home, take them out to the airplane on your iPad in ForeFlight, and through Wi-Fi that's built into the IFDs, you can transfer those flight plans right into your IFD. And then all during your flight, the IFD will send GPS position to ForeFlight so you can see your present position, your own ship, right on the ForeFlight map. We'll talk about transferring a flight plan from ForeFlight to the IFD and also transferring a flight plan from the IFD up to ForeFlight. So let's get started. Okay, so here's a pretty complex flight plan that uh, I downloaded. Uh, it's a clearance from uh, Dallas Love to Flagstaff. Uh, so uh, this is the Worth 1 departure to the Corona VOR CNX to Victor 291 to the Winslow VOR INW and on to the airport KFLG. Now at the end of this PowerPoint type presentation, I will also have a live video and show it in real time, but I wanted to show you with screenshots and printed instructions. So first thing you have to do obviously is launch the ForeFlight app. Imagine we're sitting at home and we're building our flight plan and deciding where we're going to go and all that. So there's a little flight plan button here. Notice I've got the uh, I'm on the maps page, which you can see down at the bottom here, and I hit the little fly plan button, and now I can start typing out my clearance. Now you may have gotten your clearance right off, right through four flight, but I'm just going to manually enter one here. Uh, so type in each of the waypoints uh, separated by a space, and as, after you get done, you'll have the whole thing sitting there it's completed and you're ready to go out to the airplane and make the transfer so let's go out to the airplane the first thing we want to do is make sure our ipad is connected to the wi-fi on the uh, ifd uh, if you've flown with your ifd much at all you'll know when you first turn it on it takes a few minutes for this little green icon right here this little uh, wi-fi icon to turn green which means it's finally communicating on wi-fi so if you don't see your uh, IFD in your list of available Wi-Fi's right away, so you have to wait for that little green, that little icon to turn green. Here's your Bluetooth icon; it comes on pretty quick as well. So I happen to rename my networker networking uh, as C172 AVI-11. The default name that most folks will have is Leo Wi-Fi, means limited I/O. Leo Wi-Fi, and then there's the default factory password. And remember, those can be changed and edited in maintenance mode. I happen to go in and edit mine uh, because I have several of these running at a trade show, so I have to differentiate each of them. So I've got 172 AVI. I can see here that my Wi-Fi is turned on on my iPad, and I am can actually connected to that Wi-Fi link. So I'm ready to run. Now that we're connected, let's transfer the flight plan. So we want to be on the IFD, we want to be on the FMS route tab so you can see the routes because it's going to come into the stored routes page. So over on ForeFlight, there's a little Wi-Fi icon up here along this top row. It's the one on the far right uh, of the list. Just touch it and you'll see it'll pop up another menu. And you can see you can either load from the panel or send to the panel. In this case, remember, we're sending from the ForeFlight down to the panel to the, or up to the panel, as it were, to the IFD. So let's touch that button. And it'll take about 5 to 10 seconds for the flight plan to spool and load across on the Wi-Fi. And then, boom, it'll show up right over here on your Wi-Fi, well, excuse me, on your IFD. Boom, it'll come over and show up on your IFD in the route list, in this case Dallas to Flagstaff. So we're good to go there. Next thing we want to do is just activate that route. And we're rocking and rolling. Now one more thing we want to do is activate the flight plan, and that'll get the GPS actually flying it. So touch, act, touch that button to activate the flight plan. You'll see your first waypoint is, uh, turns magenta, which means it's your active leg active waypoint there 
and once the GPS is being received from the IFD, the own ship of the foreflight, okay, we're going to say that again. Once the IFD starts receiving GPS position, it'll start sending that out on the Wi-Fi. And then once that happens, you'll see your little own ship will show up here. That means the foreflight is receiving present position from the IFD. And it's important to point out that any edits to the flight plan on me for flight or on the IFD will not synchronize in real time. You'll have to manually resync and, you know, re-push it back up. Uh, but the GPS, your present position is always um, transmitted in real time. So it'll keep that your position overlaid on your map. So if we want to transfer a flight plan from the IFD up to for flight, Let's say we've edited a man, manually edited a flight plan uh, on the IFD, and now we wanted to save it into the uh, for flight for future reference. We would do the same thing. We just go over to our active flight plan on the IFD over here, and then from from for flight, we would touch the little icon again and get to that menu that says load from panel. Touch that button. And boom, there's our flight plan, in this case from Melbourne up to Jacksonville on the Victor 3. Piece of cake. Very easy, simple, very easy process. So let's go watch the video. Okay, I wanted to do a quick video on how to transfer a flight plan from ForeFlight to your IFD in the panel. So first thing we want to do is we're sitting at home. Let's put in a flight plan. And this is a clearance I got, which is to the worth one to the Corona VOR CNX to Victor 291 to the Winslow INW VOR and then to our airport flagstaff KFLG. Okay, so there's our flight plan. And you can see it's mapped out here in four flight and we're all happy with it and that's where we're that's where we want to go i'm at home and i'm looking at weather and all that so now i come out to the airplane and i come over here and you can see that i want to connect to this wi-fi so i come over to my ipad and i make sure that i'm connected to my airplane's wi-fi which i've called 172 avi-11 Alright, so now I come over here to FMS to my route page and I want to send this route from ForeFlight over to the IFD. So all I want to do is come up to this button right here and I'm going to send to panel. So let's send to panel. It's going to push the flight plan over here, Dallas to Flagstaff. There it is. Alright, let's hit activate route and now we've got that route in and we can activate the flight plan and now we'll take off flying it we'll start sending gps position out of the ifd over to four flight there it is we've got an airplane now sorry we've got an airplane now and off we go just remember that the ifd sends gps position information in real time but any edits to the flight plan are not synced in real time that's just the way it was set up in the four flight app uh, if you do make an edit to the flight plan, you'll want to push that back up or vice versa. Now we're sitting on the ground in Melbourne and we want to we want to push this flight plan. We activated it and I want to send that up to four flight. All I would do is push this button and load from the panel. And now it'll push that flight plan up. And there it is. All right, well, you've seen how easy it is to connect for flight to the IFD. If you have any questions, there's our contact information there. Thanks for flying with Avidyne, and fly safe, everybody. Have a great day.